Hey, this is Brian Hennessy over at Titan LED. Welcome back. Uh, today what we want to do is talk about a brand new tube design here at Titan LED. It's our new four foot LED tube. Uh, we believe we're going to reach uh, numbers over 160 delivered lumens per watt. Uh, but we're going to test it in our two meter sphere here, so we're going to do it right in front of your eyes. Uh, and again, um, you'll see the tube is already lit inside here. I'm going to call on our chief engineer. I'll have him come over. We're going to do a scan right here to see what the actual numbers are. So Brian, if you wouldn't mind, uh, join me over here and um, I'll close up the sphere. Brian will uh, move in to do a, uh, an actual test. So Jack, I don't know if you want to get closer. And Jack, down here, this is the, uh, this is the wattage down on the bottom here, Jack. So we're looking at the wattage of the tube. And on the top, we just ran a scan. 2880. So. So 174 and a half. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So, um, so what this is saying right here is that our goal was to hit over 160 lumens per watt with this new diode that we're using, along with the new thermal management. Uh, we did 2,880 lumens. Um, if you divide that out by the 16 and a half watts that we're burning, uh, you got a, a record shattering 174.5 delivered lumens per watt on the new Titan LED 100% US made tube. Stay tuned for just another minute and I'm going to come back and go over some specific, uh, specificity of the tube and then we'll do some really cool stuff with it. Stay tuned. Thanks for joining me again. Uh, we just took it out of the sphere. We got uh, another version of the uh, four foot tube running, uh, but the four foot tube that we tested. Uh, I just want to tell you some specific features about this tube. Right, again, here at Titan LED, we're all about world class products. This is a 100% American made product. Um, this tube will last 102,000 hours, probably substantially longer than that. That's what we'll warranty it for. This is a five year, no questions asked warranty I have on this. We are using tier one chips with LM80 data to uh, support our claims in regards to ours. Um, we are using a new thermal management theory that we came up with here at Titan LED. We do have a brand new board design on this four foot uh, LED tube as well. Uh, this is an absolute robust uh, aluminum extrusion that we're using in order to, to manage the heat. Uh, this tube itself has the best efficacy in the space that I'm aware of. Uh, this is delivered 174.5 lumens per watt, absolutely spectacular. Um, you can use this tube in a 120 or a 277 application. We have a smart driver, so whatever voltage you're going to put into it will read up to 277. And the junction temperature. Um, and what that means to you, the junction temperature is 45 C. So after we saturate four tubes in a troffer, uh, the entire troffer is running about 45 to 47 C max. So everything about this tube, we've hit every area of concern and every area of specificity in regards to design. Uh, this, without a doubt, is a world class tube right here, produced, manufactured, made in the USA at Titan LED. Hey, welcome back. Uh, as you know, we took the tube out of the sphere. Uh, we've proven that we've made not only the coolest tube in the world, but probably the, the tube with the most efficacy in the world. Uh, this tube, again, is 174.5 delivered lumens per watt at a junction temperature of 45C. Absolutely incredible. Uh, what we want to do now is have a little fun. You've seen us do this over the years. We've taken the technology and we slammed it down a couple times. Well, I'm going to do it again today because it is a brand new board. It is a brand new thermal design and it is different LEDs. Uh, still an Illumileds brand, but a different LED. So what we want to do is we want to take this and do a little durability test today. Make sure it withstands uh, um, some of the impacts that go on in the field. And listen, you might not think this saves you any money, but when you're using our tube, we've seen a lot of installations where they fall from 20 feet in the air. So by us making a more robust tube, when it does fall, it lands on the ground, it does hit, you can pick it back up and use it again. So there's absolutely a cost savings with us as an organization making a tube that's more robust. Um, if you'll notice on the table here, I also have a, a tube from over the pond. Uh, what we're going to do is a slam test on that tube as well, and we're going to see if the durability of that one holds up as well as a Titan durability test. Uh, the difference during the test is on the Titan one, I can actually keep it lit while I do the test because I'm using a DC on the outside. Again, advanced technology over my competitors. Uh, this is AC, uh, so the engineers are recommending that I do not hold this in my hand while it's lit while I'm slamming it on the table. So. What I'll do is I'll unplug this one, uh, we'll slam it, and we'll put it back, and let's see if it fires up, okay? Uh, bear with me two seconds here, and uh, let's start with, I would say, let's start with the, uh, uh, the Titan II. So, let me move this one out of the way. <clears throat> so, 
Actually, I got a better idea, Jack. We're going to start with this one because I'm going to finish this one off pretty good. Uh, so let's start with. So I'm going to disconnect. I'm putting this cardboard down just for, for uh, safety. So I'm going to disconnect this one here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this tube, and I'm going to take this one and put it against the table a couple times, all right? And let's see, let's see what happens with this thing. So here we go. Held up pretty good, huh? Little bow curve to it. And one more time, four. We'll give the Titan probably ten, but all right. So uh, flattened out pretty good on the edges. What do you think, Bry? It's not gonna work. <laughs> um, let me uh, turn the power off. And let me fire that up and see if. Okay, so I'm full power with that, and uh, everything's back on. Uh, hence the same power supply, just so everybody on the same power supply that the Titan tube is on, uh, is the same one as that. So I'll show you the power supply, I'll shut it off again, show you that we are hooking live power to those tubes. Titan's on, Titan's off, the same power supply that the other one's hooked up to. Uh, unfortunately, um, the tube from over the pond didn't withstand the impact test. Um, so let me just disconnect that. What we're going to do now is we'll take the Titan tube. Now listen, uh, I'm going to beat this up pretty good, but I want you to understand that these tubes that are right here, these are all tubes from over the pond as well. You can see some of the names on them. These would never even make an impact test, but all the stuff coming over from right now, um, it's not even worth us uh, doing these kinds of tests too. So, but I put them out there that you can see the technology coming from over the pond is the exact same technology. Nobody in the space has technology like Titan LED, uh, and I'm here to prove it right now. So, I'm going to stand on my own cord. Not even a flicker. Not even a flicker. Again, not even a flicker. My hand is hurting more than the tube is hurting. All right, a couple more times. Again, not even a flicker. Now I'm going to show you some technology that's going to blow your mind. You ready for this? Nobody in the world can do what I'm about to do with their tubes. I can't do it with my hands. Tight and tough. This is literally the greatest four foot LED tube in the world. Greatest efficacy, highest lumens per watt, lowest wattage. If you are looking for a tube that you'll never have to replace again in your entire life, check us out on the web. It's Titan, Titan LED, titanled.net. Thanks for joining us today.